Bye. Do you guys remember that? That's totally from The Fifth Element. One of my favorite movies. If you haven't seen it, you have to watch it. But anyways, I'm here with my first of my Valentine's Day series looks. And this actually happens to be a collaboration. With Glam Moms, Rochelle and Jen, they have their version. Their link will be down below. Please check it out and support. The collaboration is Sugar and Spice and Everything Nice. So, mine is Everything Nice. I thought Everything Nice would be like a flirty, pinky, purple, and a little bit of a sparkle, bam, glam, baby. Because you know I love me some sparkles. So, yeah, let me just... Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. I hope you guys like it. Let's get straight to this tutorial. Bye, my love bugs. Love you. Mwah. Okay, as usual, you're going to prime your lids with Urban Decay Primer Potion. If you hear noise in the back room, it's my daughter, sorry. Then we're going to go in with Ho from MAC, or Hoax, or however. It is a cool tone purple with a great undertone. You're going to take that on a crease brush, and you're going to put it all inside the crease, as well as slightly above, because I want this everywhere. I want it to be blown out. Now going in with NYX Jumbo Pencil in Strawberry Milk, you're going to place that right onto the lid. Then you're going to take your finger and you're going to pat it. You're not going to move it around, you're going to pat the product on. What that's going to do is really um, put it onto the eyelid without moving it around, which would adhere the best and show the most color. Then going back in with hold just to blend that out a little so you don't have that harsh line. Now taking Makeup Geek's Cupcake and Unexpected, you're going to put that on a crease brush right above the brow bone. And that's going to give you that subtle pop of pinky purple um, crease color. Now going in with Max Vanilla on a fluffy brush, you're going to highlight the brow bone and blend it slightly in with Cupcake. Now we're going to be going in with the Urban Decay Oz The Great and Powerful Palette and the color Magic, which is this pink, purple, periwinkle color. It is gorgeous. You're just going to build up on this color. Keep adding it onto the lid into the intensity you desire. So when one light is pink and another light is purple, it's just beautiful. My favorite. I forgot about this palette and I was like, ooh, I'm taking it out. going to go in with Ho once again and just blend out the color so there's no harsh lines. Then you're going to go in with the color Tornado, the dark purple in the palette. You're going to take it on the outer corner on a small shade of brush. So you're going to do an outer V and then you're going to blend it slightly into the crease. Now taking MAC 222 brush or any fluffy dome brush that you have and you're going to blend out that color in circular motions bringing it right into the crease then you're going to move your brush on a sideway motion on the belly of the brush and what that's going to do is give you a nice faded blend between the pink and the purple now going back in with cupcake and blend it right into the crease so that we have that nice flirty pop of pink And then, because color is lost, you're going right back in with magic. And now we're taking our lashes. I'm just going to show you a quick highlight of them. These are the Velour Lashes in Strike a Pose, one of my favorite pairs. Passing them in for security. And then this is what you should have at this point. Unfortunately, my camera did not record the other piece, but this is just a quick overview of what I did. Once you follow those steps, you're going to go in with Urban Decay um, Glitter Liner in Midnight Cowboy, and you're going to put it in the inner tear duct and bring it about halfway in. Your final look. Very pretty, smoky, 
glam look, daytime appropriate as well. Now we're going to do our face. We're going with NYX Studio um, HD Studio Foundation in Sand Beige. What I like to do is just press it into the skin first in a dotting motion, so stippling it in, and then blending it out in circular motions. And I'm using Sedona Lace Flat Top Coolie Brush. Now we're taking Adri Wine um, Dark Spot Eraser for the face, and we're going to just put it where I have some dark spots, and this is a treatment formula, so it will actually help the dark spots fade over time. Mine just is in the chin area. Now going in with Max Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20, I'm going to use it to um, highlight as well as cover up my dark circles underneath the eyes. Okay, with a pointed um, kabuki blender, this one is from Crown Brushes, it does not have a name or number, you're going to press it underneath the eye and then lightly blend it out. What that's going to do is pack on the color and add the intensity you desire. Now I'm going in with MAC's Prep and Prime Highlighter in Radiant Rose and I'm going to highlight the peaks of my cheekbones almost in a V motion down the bridge of my nose, center of my face. And I also like to really just outline my top lip. What that's going to do is really make the top of my look look bold and bigger and more prominent. Taking that same brush as earlier, I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to press and then kind of roll it into the skin so that way it gives you a natural blend. Then I'm just going back in with that foundation brush, just cleaning the outer edges so that way it looks natural and it doesn't look like I have like a weird white line. This is actually my favorite way of doing it right at the moment with this brush. It's become a new love of mine again. Now going in with the Coastal Sense um, 6 Contour Palette in the white and that um, almost banana powder color, that yellowish color. I'm going to mix the two and put it under the eyes because I don't want it to be stark white, but I also want the highlight to show. What this is going to do, I'm putting it in, a, again, a triangle motion. What that's going to do is bring light to the face and make the skin look smaller. I mean, make the face look smaller. <laughs> now I'm just going to do a light contour with that dark brown that's in the palette. That way I have a slim face because you know I got a chubby little face. If you guys want a more in-depth tutorial, I have a contour and highlight video that I'll link down below. I actually did the other portion, I just didn't film it. Now going in with my favorite brush, Blush. And this is the NARS Duo Blush in the color Orgasm, which is a peachy pink. What you're going to do is just, like you see me tapping and pressing and bring it up to the hairline. So that's going to make your skin, your face, look as if it has a facelift. Now going in with my favorite highlighter, this is from Laura Mercier in Highlight 01, I believe it's called, but whatever. The best highlight they have and the only one. It's a nice champagne shimmery color and I'm just um, doing it in the peak of the face. Now time for the lips. We're going in with Jordana's Tawny Lip Liner. And NYX lipstick in strawberry milk. The reason why I do go back in with Tawny now is so that I give it definition. So I like to go with a darker lip and then lighter. And now we're going to add a lip gloss. This one is Sephora's Natural Look number 14, so that I have a nice nudie pink lip. So again, adding that little touch of darker liner. Nude gives you more definition and dimension. Now for our second lip choice. We got NYX Sand Pink Lip Liner as well as Urban Decay's Turn On, which is basically my lips but better. So it's just going to enhance the color a little bit and make it a little bold. That's what you have. This lipstick actually is a natural lip pumper, so it look, makes your lips look a little pouty. Now going back in with Jordana's 20 Lip Liner, I'm going to line the lips and I'm just going to go for a different lip color. I have four choices for you guys. And the color I chose is Maybelline's Vivid Color in Hot Plum, which is 
exactly what it says, a plum color, but it has a very nice pink undertone, so it looks more like a brighter pink purple. Silly faces! Yay! Thumbs up! Okay, now going in with Milani's lip liner, which is actually my favorite lip liners of all because it's really soft and creamy. This one is in Holt, Holt Pink, <laughs> weird way. Now I'm just mixing two colors, Maybelline's Color Vivid Colors <laughs> lipsticks. The first color I'm using is Fuchsia Flash, which is a bright hot pink fuchsia color. And then I'm going right back on top with Hot Plum and I'm making my own custom blend. And this is the color you should come up with. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was nice and easy. Bye, love bugs. Silly days. Happy Valentine's Day. Mm.